The Bible speaks of people uh, uh, in uh, Philippians 3 and 19, says whose glory is their shame. Whose glory is their shame. That which they should be ashamed of, they're proud of. And the only thing about that pride is Proverbs 6 and 17 tells us that pride goes before destruction. See, that pride. They are following a path that will destroy them. Somebody says something bad is going to happen. Well, I hold that something bad has happened. Look at, look at uh, Romans chapter number 1 verse 26. Look at judgment. For this cause God gave them up to vile affection. That's judgment. For this cause, for this reason, God gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change that, uh, look at this, did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So now, if there is an affection that causes you to crave what doesn't work, and you hear the truth and you reject the truth, and you fight to stay in that, what God does is the way God judges you is he gives you over to him. He says, okay, you can do this now. And guess what? There'll be no conviction, no nothing. You'll be able to be uh, with people in public. You'll be able to participate in parades. You'll be able to marry a member of the same sex. You, you can just parade your love and declare it. And people, and you, and you don't even feel bad about it. As a matter of fact, you feel free. It's judgment. That's judgment. He has turned you over to yourself. You, you were better off when you were struggling. You, you were better off when what the preacher said to you mattered. Now you're in a place where, well, all the, the Christians, they can just go, go, go down yonder. I don't care what anyone has to say. I don't care what mama has to say. I don't care what daddy has to say. This is my life. I want to be free. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to do this. This is who I am. This is my authentic self. You know all the words you hear. This is my authentic self. I'm going to be who, who I was actually created to be, even though you've, you've actually been the opposite of what you were created to be. But this is what I'm going to do, and I don't feel any conviction. And I believe people when they say that. But what it, but what it tells me is that God has passed judgment. And when God passes judgment, conviction is no longer there. You only, we're only convicted when the Holy Spirit tug at our heart. The Holy Spirit brings conviction. The, the Bible speaks of having your conscience seared with a hot iron. A seared conscience is a conscience that no longer works. The conscience to the human being is the warning system of an airplane. When the plane is going down, the, 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 the system comes on and says, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. And the pilot is alerted and he can pull up and level that plane back out. Yeah, some of us have lost that warning system. Nothing is saying anything. Nothing is saying go home. Nothing is saying you know you're wrong. Nothing is saying this is not right. It used to. You used to hear it. You used to be convicted about it. You don't hear that anymore. You know what has happened to you? God's passed judgment. And you need to pray, Lord, please let me feel bad about this again. Because if you don't feel bad about a thing, you won't re repent for it. If you don't repent, you won't be delivered. Amen. So you got to know how the kingdom works. Well, I don't have a problem with any of it myself. That's judgment. I don't judge anyone. That's a judgment. Because when you say that you don't judge anything or anyone, you are actually saying that you've come to the conclusion that the things that God says are wrong aren't wrong. Now, when was the last time you made a world or a moon or a universe? I'm headed somewhere. I'm, I'm going to preach the blessings. I'm, I'm, really, I'm, I'm really blessing you now. I'm blessing you with the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. Look at this. 